Hey everyone, Simon here, we're playing Assassin's Creed 3 and we are in the underground underneath New York. Um, we're not doing anything serious right now. I have been doing a lot of side things uh, in New York, like grabbing almanac pages and loot and unlocking the underground tunnels, which is what I'm doing right now. I just want to show you how bad this is. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be negative all the time, but there's just very little entertainment value. All right, so there's two doors left. Let me just show you the map. It's a maze. It's a dark underground maze. And I don't know if if you've heard me talk about mazes before, but mazes in games are a bad idea. First of all, let's unlock this door. After this door, there's still one more door. So we're gonna find the last door together. All right. So you read that, right, and then you get this animus entry, and then in capital letters they tell you what the clues are. So, uh, now behave yourself ludicrously, nor as low as jester, while the lodge is engaged in what is serious and solemn. So low jester, so at the bottom is going to be the jester. Um, Catholic religion to the left of all nations. So Catholic relig religion on the left. So just on the bottom, Catholic religion on the left. And then the foundation and the eternally crowning capstone. Foundation and the eternally crowning capstone. So capstone at the top. And then law right. Prevent you going to law right or wrong with strangers. Alright, so do you, do you guys get that? So we got Jester at the bottom. Uh, Catholic on the left. The uh, Illuminati Iron. There you go. So that's how you open that door. And then we can go back up to the New York upstairs if we want to. But for now, I just want to find the last door. So there's 11 doors in New York. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 there. We need to find the last one. I have spent hours down here. And the vast majority of the time you spend down here is just walking around these tunnels. Oh crap, don't tell me it's behind here. I've been here before, but I haven't managed to open... Oh, I must be open behind there, alright. See, the majority of the time you spend down here involves you slow jogging your way through tunnels. And that's it. Like, I, I, I don't have anything else to say that might make you more interested in this. Uh, very occasionally there's like a puzzle. Maybe you have to climb over a door, or maybe you have to blow up a wall, or maybe you have to kill two dudes or something. Very, very few interesting moments. It's like 98% jogging through the dark, and 2% solving a very simple puzzle. And there's just very little entertainment value. And I'm not just saying this because I'm, I like to complain, but I mean, just co compare this with the previous Assassin's Creed games. If you go somewhere underground in the previous Assassin's Creed games, you are almost guaranteed to find a parkour puzzle down there. A complex, interesting parkour puzzle, which either requires you to race, race against the clock or, you know, eliminate enemies in the silence or stuff like that. You know, an actual parkour puzzle. Something that requires skill and thinking, whereas this, we're just running. We're just running, literally. We're just kind of sticking to the to the left and running forward. And this does not require any thinking at all. It is just so brain dead. And I don't even know why I'm bothering with this, to be perfectly honest. I spent hours on this and there's no entertainment value. Alright, so every now and then you get a slightly interesting room like this, right? So this is a parkour puzzle, but just note how much time we spent on this. Oh, how much time we... Oh no, the camera's locked. I can't see where I'm going. I can't see where... I'm... How do you get across it? You literally... Do you seriously jump across there? Are you kidding me? How do I get back up? How do I... Alright, well this is a, a more perplexing puzzle. 
than I expected. Do I literally jump that? That's impossible. Come on. Alright, well, let's just try and get back up somewhere. Ah, this game. Why did they lock the ca- No, what are you doing? Why did they lock the camera here? Look at this. I can't turn around. I can't. I can't move. What? Did you see how far he jumped? Were we ever able to do that in any part, any other part of the game? All right. Well, the camera is locked. So you, basically, the camera is telling you what to do. No, 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 bro. Did you just see how far he jumped? And then this. Really? Amazing. Alright, and then like, a minute and a half later, if that. What just happened? He swung from there diagonally into- what just happened? Oh no, the camera, come on, you lock the camera, and then you put it on a diagonal, and then you do that, it's just so bad. <laughs> I mean, the lock camera has always been bad in the Assassin's Creed series. And this is equally as bad as, as the worst things we've seen in the previous games. He just flew off diagonally into open space. Why? What? How, how would you... Look at this. Okay, well, alright. Alright, no, no, diagonally. Diagonally. There. Alright, we're... We, no, pick up the lantern. Pick up the lantern. Pick up the... Pick... Pick... Up. There you go. And that and that's about it. So a parkour puzzle, if we didn't fall off twice, we would have done that in a minute. And then we're back to wandering around these tunnels. We're supposed to be able to blob these these walls as indicated by the red paint. But I can't find a gunpowder oh there there's a gunpowder battle. So let me just quickly blow that up. In case we want to do that soon, pick it up. In case we want to do it soon, sooner rather than later. All right, let's just do that and step back a little bit. Shoot the barrel. All right, we'll continue sticking to the left-hand side because the only reliable way to get through a maze is to map the entire maze. Oh, here we go. Here's the here's the door. Uh, interact. So this is an, another kind of puzzle. So there's a there's a few types of these. There's there's the lantern. There's this thing. Um, there's the lock picking. What other? No, I think that's all the doors, isn't it? I think they might be all the doors. Anyway, so this. They say W A S D, but. All right. Well, okay. Okay. I see. All right. Let me just. Turn these around a little bit. Get the feel for it. I don't know if there's a like a, a proper way to do this, but typically I just alternate between the two until something works. Like that. I wasn't even figuring it out, I was just alternating between the arrows and WASD. Alright, so there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that should be all of the New York Underground. Liberation, Thieves, Frontiersmen, I don't even remember. No, it wasn't this. Was it this? Not Liberation. Naval, Collectibles, Delivery, Homestead. Uh, no, it's in the DNA. So that should unlock all of the quick travel stations in New York. Where is this? Sign missions, liberation, collectible pig leg forts underground. 
All right. We have unlocked West New York 84%. What does that mean? Have we not unlocked all of the undergrounds? I thought there was 11 down here. Or do I have to un to have to map all the rooms? Let me just, just go back and see if I can map all the rooms. Maybe there's one more. Maybe I counted wrong. Alright, so there's more of this. Yeah, like literally there's like one minute of parkour and then and then maybe like five minutes at least of just running through tunnels. There's just very little entertainment. Right, here's another barrel. But that just leads me to a place I've been to before. Maybe it actually wants me to blow up this. Because this is the last thing that I haven't opened, as far as I know. The last thing that I haven't unlocked. Alright, reload. And the reloading! I mean, there were guns in previous games where you never had to reload. The reloading is so slow and so tedious. Alright, now what? Now have I unlocked everything? Or is there another exit that I don't know about? Uh, Forts Underground? No, there's still... 84% West New York Underground. Unlock all West New York Underground entrances. 84% I'm missing one. You've got to be kidding me. Where... Is it that? Is it that? Let me just go back. Go back south. Try and find this. Or I can just ignore it and not care. I feel like I should not care about this because it's so... tedious. Uh, wrong way. Apparently, I still have one more thing to unlock. Alright, where am I going? Um... This way. I mean, granted, the last door usually is the worst because... You know, you can't... you have to find something you missed earlier, but... Oh, here we go, here's a new area we haven't been to yet. And it's just more tunnels. There are clues. I mean, there are kind of noises and arrows and signs that kind of point you towards... The, like that, like an arrow there. They point you towards the exit, but at the same time, if you don't uncover the entire maze... Oh crap, I'm back to... Never mind, that was a dead end. Like, if you don't uncover the entire maze, you just don't know. Like, imagine if you find... Like, if you're missing, like, two exits, and you've only been following the arrows, and you haven't been mapping the entire maze, then you have a whole bunch of, you know, corridors leading into unknown territory. And most of them will be dead ends, but maybe two of them will be exits, and you don't know which one is the exit, so you still have to go back and look through them like this. You know, I'm missing one door, is it behind here? No. You still have to end up checking everything. So they give you all these clues, but the clues don't really help. Because ultimately, you, you end up having to check everything anyway, otherwise you can never be... you probably never find all of the... Uh, all of the exits. South Market, we've been here before, but there's like corridors there. That's not a corridor, no, that's an exit. I'm just gonna look at the boundaries and just make sure there's no... Yeah, so it's only here, 
here. Uh, is that a thing? No, it's not. And maybe there that we have unexplored exits. All right, well, let's go and find this. If we can. So what else have I been doing? Ah, uh, there's the homestead missions. Remember how we occasionally find people and invite them to our homestead? So you do that and then you kind of do these story things. And like they're, they're really short and really inconsequential in terms of gameplay. But then they... Oh, that's interesting. But then they... They unlock more recipes and more items. So I've been doing those. Like we've got a uh, we've got a, a priest, we've got a huntress and a tailor, and all that. Like you save the tailor from her abusive husband, and and you uh, and the uh, the black couple is had uh, has a child, and you help the miner and the huntress get married, and so it's all these all these really um. Soap opera things, which is you know fair enough, but they just again they just don't have very much entertainment value. You just kind of mostly you walk from point A to point B, maybe kill a few dudes, maybe pick up an item, and then you go back, and it's just not it's just not very um, involved like this. 